Hey guys, James here and this is Tech MNO. And for today's video, we will have a gaming test for the Redmi Note 9 Pro. We will check how capable the phone is in terms of performance, from casual to intermediate to heavy games. But before we begin, I would appreciate it if you click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell so that you will never miss a brand new video from me. And we're hitting our 700 subscriber giveaway real soon. So if you want to win our amazing prizes, click the link in the description or in the card popping right now. Just to recap the specs, the Redmi Note 9 Pro has the Qualcomm Snapdragon 720G with an Adreno 618 GPU. Pair that with 6GB of RAM and either 64 or 128 gigs of storage in a 6.67-inch IPS LCD display plus a beefy 5020mAh battery. Let's start the gaming test with some casual games. First is Stickman Legends Shadow Wars. This is a 2D adventure game with some controls on the screen that's spacious thanks to the large display of the Note 9 Pro. And finally, in the casual game test is an award-winning touch-based puzzle story game, Monument Valley 2. As you can see, the game is gorgeous with its graphics thanks to its large display and HDR10 certified color temperature. Now, let's go to the intermediate games, a set of games that is not so graphics intensive, yet provides the best and solid experience. First on our test is Smash Hit. The game is smooth at its high quality setting, plus it shows the phone has multi-touch screen with no delay when you press. And finally, one of my picks for 2D, 3D music games on mobile, Sidus 2. The combination of visuals and audio is spot on for this game and the Redmi Note 9 Pro delivers it both. I will show the footage on the game, however the audio of the main game will be muted due to copyright issues. And finally, we will now go to the heavy games, a graphics-intensive set of games to see the prowess of the Snapdragon 720G, the Adreno 618 GPU, plus the MIUI optimizations. By the way, the game apps here are included automatically in the Game Turbo app once downloaded. Let's go first with Riptide GP Renegade, a jet ski racing game with awesome obstacles and stages. The default graphics is on high, but you can crank it up to very high if you want to. The Redmi Note 9 Pro doesn't get warm up in this game, yet still provides an awesome water splash effect without any frame drops or lags. 
you can use the gyroscope function for steering, but for the purpose of this video, I change it to touch controls. Next on our list is Asphalt 9, a well-known car racing game from Gameloft that needs internet connection. While I'm playing, I didn't see any frame drops or lags in the gameplay. However, the Redmi Note 9 Pro quite warms up a bit but not too hot even though it's on data connection, on speaker, and high graphic settings. Another good job for the Note 9 Pro. Up next is NBA 2K20, one of the apps that's often offline but it's a graphic demanding game. On the three main options of the graphic settings like Stadium, Reflection, Shadow, and Player Options, they're all set to high, while others are in medium or off. You can still put all of them in the settings to high, but I guess you can experience a slight frame drop or warm up on the phone if you do so. On my test, it quite warm up on the phone but not to the point that you can touch it already and no frame drops or lags in my configuration. And lastly on the gaming test, Call of Duty Mobile, an FPS game that's demanding not just on the graphics but on data too so this will test here the temperature and the frame drops of the Redmi Note 9 Pro. I set up the game on very high graphics and frame rate on this video due to my unstable internet connection. But I'm happy to report that there's no frame drops and lags on the Redmi Note 9 Pro, even on max frame rate. However, the phone gets warm up quite easily in either very high and max configurations, but still bearable. Overall, the Redmi Note 9 Pro delivers great gaming experience thanks to its chipset and its GPU. The battery also is efficient when I conducted a gaming test for 3 hours straight. My battery before the test is at 75% and after that, there's still 40% battery on the phone with Wi-Fi and data turn on, use speakers, and 70% brightness settings. And if there will be any changes after this gaming test, I will let you know in the full review coming real soon. And that ends our video for today. If you did enjoy this video, again, don't forget to like and subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit that notification bell. If you have any questions and suggestions, drop it in the comment section down below. And share this to your friends so that the algorithm will suggest this video to more people worldwide. Follow me also on my Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram accounts at TechMNO. Again, my name is James. Thank you so much for watching. And I will catch you guys on the next one.